on how to carry out a nail surgery redressing. We've had quite a few nail surgeries this month, which is great and also a bit concerning, but never mind. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do a nail surgery redressing. I've put a little bit of nail polish down the side here just to sort of mimic what a nail surgery could potentially look like. So you'd have a, a section of nail removed and this would be the offending bit, um, which as you can see is demonstrated by my nail polish. So what we normally do here is give you a little bag full of stuff and dressings to take home with you. Um, what I normally say is keep your dressing on dry and clean for two days and then on the second day you remove it, put your feet in a bowl of salt water and then you want to replace it with this stuff. So first dressing we want to use is podolin. Now, what I would recommend, I'm going to do it exactly as I would want you to do it. I'm going to hold the packet like this and I'm going to fold that over so I can pinch the podlin and open it right up. So podlin, as you can probably see, is shiny. Um, so it's non-stick and that's both sides. So what I've done is I've got some tape, which again you get in your bag, and I'm going to just lift this because we're trying to prevent, uh, prevent any infection. Separate your toes as much as possible. So I'm going to lift this one up and you want to wrap that around the toe. Now the podlin, as I said, does stop uh, the dressing sticking to the wound because it's shiny and non-adhesive. Um, this is not enough, certainly after surgery, to absorb all the fluid, potentially any blood. So you will also get in your bag of stuff um, a few packets of non-woven swabs, which are sterilized, they're in packets like this. And then again, what you wanna do is, imagine I've opened it, this is a spare piece I had, touch it again and put it over the toe like that and wrap it round. So it looks kind of weird and ugly at the moment. You can, if you really want to, bring that over and down. So it looks like that, which is fine. It might not stick very well or for very long. So what I have also given you in your bag is tubi gauze. Now, it's almost double the length of the toe is what you might need. Some people like to put the tubi gauze on like that and then they swivel it round and then fold it back over. I don't because you have to end up with a little knot there and that can be painful on a surgical site. So I then fold it over and if there's any excess, cut off the excess, but that's fine. And then at least you've got a nice smooth surface there. And then again with the tape, just stick it down. One and two. Now, you will also have in your bag some me fix which is notoriously difficult to open so i'll show you how i don't know if you can see there's a little line down the back you hold either side and you pull and you can see it separates the paper from the tape and you can use that nicely and stick it down what i would however recommend is you get your big piece of me fix that we've given you i'll just show you cut a little bit off fold it in half and just round the edges because it means it's less likely to come loose. And then if you're feeling confident to do it, I hold it like this and then draw my finger down and it usually comes off. But if that's not working for you, as I said, just split it and that will hold it in place. And there you go. So you want to keep this dressing on dry and clean for 24 hours and repeat the same thing again um, in 24 hours. You also have in the bag a limbo, which is a shower boot that we give you. Um, and that you can use obviously to keep your dressing dry. You may decide to have your dressing done, then limbo, then shower, or you might shower with your limbo and then change the dressing. How you do it is entirely up to you. So long as this is dry and clean, um, ready for the next 24 hours. That's it. Please comment, share, like, and spread the word.